Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Ann Miller with W. Cushing & Company and it's April 15th, tax day, but also in the library with Lisa Ann. So since it's spring, we're getting some green, our snow piles are melting, I decided it was a good time to talk about Rugs in Bloom. This is Shading Flowers and Hooked Rugs by Jane Hollowell Green. And this book is amazing. Uh, there's a lot of amazing rugs in this book. Uh, if you love flowers, uh, they're just gorgeous. But more importantly than looking at gorgeous flowers, this is a real how-to hook, a realistic flower. Uh, she goes to past and present. And then here comes the how-to's. And the how-to's, I love this diagram. The parts of a flower, it's a key of it. And this is the anatomy of a flower. She goes into detail on what it is. And a lot of times with the um, really big florals, some of these pieces get lost, but you can. this will help you decipher it. Then value and technique, she goes into what is um, fine, light, medium light, medium dark, very dark, without doing a color. This is a value chart. Very, very good, very good to have. And it allows you, no matter what color, to pick a value chart. And I love this saying, it is at the edge of a petal, love awaits. So, here we have not your regular diagrams with one, two, three, four, or convoluted. This is a direct approach, shows you direction of hooking, no matter what color, direction of hooking, how to do the A and the B, how to finger in correctly, whether you use three values, eight values, but it's about the direction of the hooking. It's about how they interplay. It's how they're up and down in a jagged motion to finger them in. Uh, and how to do mock shading. How to do ruffles. Where to put the lights and the darks in an orchid. Um, another flower. Here is the lily and how to do the petals, how to break it apart, the order of hooking, how to hook it in the order, color and materials. Important for, for those who dye, here are some dye formulas. Look at the whites in here. So here is some of the whites on how to do that. Just beautiful with an eggplant background. Lovely daffodil. Uh, she goes into what to think about color planning. Here we go, some more dye formulas. And there's all sorts of dye formulas in here to help you dye correctly or get what you would like in there. How you would like the colors to look. Sometimes that's half the battle. I love the broken borders where it's one color, you break the border, it goes to a different shade. And this is dying for flowers. All the different greens. Now this is the dip dyes, the tri-colors, uh, the one color dip dye, the casserole dyeing. Uh, these are all the dyeing formulas you'll need for the flowers. Here's your casserole dyeing, spot dyeing. Um, this is a, more of a dip spot. And look at how these colors are. Now this is a beautiful rug. Leaves, stems, veins, very soft, not harsh. Again, not with the one, two, three, four, what you're used to, but how it plays out, light and dark. This is a great, great tutorial on that. Direction of hooking. Most important thing, as we've always talked about, is direction of hooking. Here are turnovers and many different turnovers. I know that many of you have trouble with the turnovers. Great, great diagrams. Here's a bell shaped. Here's the heart shaped. Again, the knowledge is just there. My favorite lily of the valley is there. And you can see 
how it's shaded, how to hook it. I like that she gives you examples and color examples and then shows you the technique. Okay, here we go, more spot dyes. How to dye fancy roots, how to dye leaf markings. Again, just all different. Now look at the cup. See how she's darkened the edge? The formulas are below. So in process, a lot of times you learn more from an in process rug than you do from a finished rug. So you can see how the background accents it and different ways to go with it. The poppies, how to hook them, all the different poppies. And here's another, another great, great diagram. It's placement of values in a, in a primitive rose. So you don't want a shade, but you want a mock shade. And in a primitive rose, where do the darks go? Where do the medium darks, the mediums and the lights? And most importantly, direction of hooking. Same thing with a bud. These are just wonderful visuals. Beautiful tulips, water lilies. I mean, the flowers, if you can think of a flower, it's probably in here with a how-to and possibly even a dye formula. Love the border. This is so staid and calm and then a wild border. It's a sweet pea. Here's your prodded flowers, but look at the leaves and the veins. Beautifully done, nice prodded flowers. Different way to look at this, the details in the leaves and then um, the prodi is in the flowers instead of vice versa. Nice, nice hydrangea. Now this is if you have different shapes of flowers. Um, chrysanthemums, they're a little bit harder to hook but again, how to put them together. Your um, daylilies, your clematis. Couldn't think of that word. Again, if you have the flower, it's probably in here. See, light, medium, where to wedge in the darks. Just a, and how to proddy to give dimension. Same rug, different palette. We all love that. Awesome sunflower, very different. Uh, just a nice way to look at it. And look at the stack of sunflowers. Great. Wonderful how-to instead of just doing browns and golds. And it just continues. There we go, spikes, the spike flowers, how to put the spikes behind the flowers, like in hollyhocks. Love the angel trumpets. See how they do not, they turn in a different color. They could turn in the same color. Again, all the how-tos. Daffodils. Daffodils are hard to hook. Jonquils, daffodils, uh, Johnny Jump Ups, the little pansies, they're hard. Uh, they seem like they wouldn't be, but they are. Here's a hibiscus broken down. And of course, this is the cover with the daylilies, a personal favorite. And look at the leaves in the back and the background. And these are the spikes that she's talking about and how they are hooked. Great, um, if you have to hook day lilies, wonderful. Morning glories, closed and open. Again, light, medium, and dark. Not how, right here, how it goes up. So, this is called Seeing Stars, and it is the day lily with the star background. And this is important, there's a lot of how-tos and how it's drawn because in the back of the book is the pattern for you to put on your own linen 
and hook this in your own way, in your own color wave. So I love this because it gives you a good taste to try it. it has a very interesting background, not a stayed background. And again, the pattern is in the back. Here we go again with more dye formulas and the how-tos for that pattern. And here we are at the floral gallery. And it, this is just when you have a gray day or it's dead of winter, you just need to take this book out and look at it and look at all the beautiful flowers. And these are prodded and then look at the base of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the tones and values into this. Just wonderful. And these dye formulas are in the book as well. Beautiful roses. They almost look real. So again, another wonderful book, a good book to add to your collection. And they don't have to be exact. These are kind of funky. They're kind of faded. But look at all the detail. Again, with the, how, with the Prati, very well done. The iris is done in this beautiful red color. And there you are. So, if you intend to hook flowers, whether it's mock shaded, fine shaded, funky background, normal background, this book has it all along with the dye formulas and the how-tos. So this should really be in your library. Also behind me are some of the other books that we still have. The Hooked Rugs uh, by Leslie Lindsay, The American Folk Art, The Rug Hook Book. We did get the hardcovers back in, a couple of you have asked, with Tom Boswell. We have a few of these, a few of the Hooked Rugs uh, die book. We have two of the Cop book, one of the uh, Primitive Hooked Rug for the 21st Century by Cynthia Norwood left. And that's a good, um, good plethora of what we have. And we also, next time, since we're going to go over inspiration, we're going to go over a book that I published that has no words, all pictures. So, until next month, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get out in your gardens, and when you're there, you pay attention to the flowers and how they grow and the colors. But then this is the great book of Rugs in Bloom. So, until May, I hope you'll be well and stay well. Thanks. Bye-bye.